have you gone fishing? A blessed day, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. NBA followers consider Inside the NBA as one of the best, if not the best, sports show on television today. A most anticipated segment is Gone Fishing. Traditionally presented towards the end of the NBA season, when teams that lost their respective matchup series in the playoffs are sent fishing. This portion is actually some sort of an exit tribute that can be hilariously amusing as the hosts Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Charles Barkley, and Kenny Smith take turns to give their assessment and analysis of what went wrong or where the team fell short. Gun Fishing cleverly combines photoshopped heads of players coaches, and also celebrities with ties to those home cities all thrown together on a boat designed to remove them from the playoffs and ship them to a favorite fishing hole. For NBA players, the most refreshing perk to enjoy headed toward the offseason is an exotic vacation. After a grueling season, and to distance themselves from the basketball grind, most would go to the beach, play golf, travel, or go on shopping sprees. They would not enjoy being part of gun fishing, ostensibly to be sent to a fishing hole on a custom-made and digitally enhanced boat courtesy of the inside the NBA talented creative crew. Being in gun fishing means that not only was your team eliminated from the playoffs, but you also got love owned, supposedly working on your catch. Although done in good fun, there is an underlying message for the eliminated team to come back next season better prepared employing whatever necessary with direction of or changes need to be done in the lineup through the draft or via the trade. Some drastic moves can result in changes in the coaching staff or even the front office personnel. In today's Gospel reading, we find the disciples returning to their occupation as fishermen. Jesus had called them away from their profession some years earlier. He had called them to follow him and to share in his work of drawing people into God's kingdom. However, now that Jesus had been crucified, there was nothing to do but go back to what they knew best. They have gone fishing, so to speak. The disciples felt dejected, lost, and with a tinge of guilt hanging in their conscience after leaving and even denying Jesus when he was suffering. The disciples who had gone fishing were heading back to where they have been, perhaps in retrospection. They see the risen Lord now standing on the shore to redirect them, to renew the call he had made to them some years back. He first established communion with them, which they had broken by abandoning him in the hour of his passion and death. He did so by the invitation, Come and have breakfast. 
We are often tempted to go back to where we have been. Yet the Lord is always calling us forward. Even when we have failed Him in various ways, He continues to call us to begin anew and to cast our net in a different direction. Much like the teams and players in our opening story who have gone fishing and need redirection so they can come back the next season more prepared and more competitive. We too need a time of reflection to renew where we have been and invigorated and renewed to move forward with greater zeal and commitment. Let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Almighty Father, we thank you for being there always to redirect us from whenever we get lost. We pray that you continue to open our eyes, ears, and hearts to always be prepared to listen and to act on your inspiration and messages with love. Jesus, we trust in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.